Hi guys, today I want to finally go through my drawers and reorganize because it is a hot ass mess. I will show you what it looks like beforehand. I'm gonna lay everything out and hopefully this time plan more accordingly. I do have labels on all my drawers also and I'm hoping to be able to change those out because otherwise I would have no idea what's in there. But half of the drawers right now, I have no idea what's in there anyway. So. I'm going to start um, by showing you what's in everything. We're gonna do a little time lapse and reorganization, and then um, hopefully I can find nail polishes. I think I'm also going to work on de-stashing as I go, so that'll be fun. Um, I've got coffee, I've had a Red Bull, I've had a buy, so let's jump into it. Okay, so starting over here, I do have China Glaze in the top three drawers of this Helmer. Um, they're a really awkward shape, but I don't particularly want to move them because I don't reach for them often. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is just make four of these Helmer drawers into China Glaze. That way um, nothing is upside down because nothing drives me more crazy than having it nail polish upside down. So I'm taking those out. I might be able to finagle a couple extra into these like, empty spaces, but these Helmers don't particularly fit China Glaze well. So we got one drawer, we got two drawers, let me take these out. You know what I should also do is grab my tripod one sec. Okay, so I squeezed a couple extra China Glaze into the empty spaces there, but again, they're just such weird shapes. And then, oh my gosh, um, a third China Glaze drawer with a bunch of upside down China Glaze. And since I don't really plan on de-stashing any China Glaze, I'm just going to leave these three drawers untouched during the process. So according to labels, these next two drawers, this one should have Orly, I am Custom Color, and Sally Hansen. Um, and then when you open it, it, yeah, I guess it pretty much has Orly, I am Custom Color, and Sally Hansen. So this is another drawer that unless I'm reaching for um, an I am Custom Color, I generally don't touch this drawer. So that should be decently organized, but I still am going to go through there and de-stash some. This one should have Starly, Inker and Heart 7-7, and Heather's Hughes. Uh, we have an upside down starling. That's fun. We've got a random cupcake. But I think for the most part, that's also right. I've got fancy gloss in here. And see, I think I'm also really kind of throwing myself off because everybody has similar caps. And I know I did that for organization, like uh, for the, you know, visual appeal of it, but I hate it and I can't find anything. So um, that will definitely be fixed. As you can see, this bottom drawer has no label because um, this is a Mod Podge of things. So I've got MJ Lacquer, um, more MJ. I've got Pretty and Polish Tux. So this started out as my drawer that just kind of had the one-off brands. Um, and then it just kind of, like there's Sweet and Sour in here, I believe. Yeah, Sweet and Sour. Um, there's Air London. There's Salon Perfect. So this one definitely needs to... Uh, be fixed. Wait till you see this ice cream drawer. This is a lot of fun. Um, so this is just, oh no, have I been out of focus? This is just absolutely piled in here with ice cream. Um, she needs at least three drawers to herself. That is a must. Under this we have <laughs> Colors to Carol and more ice cream. It's, I just, I really did a terrible, terrible job planning this out the first time. Down here, um, we have KB Shimmer, which everything is relatively nice looking in here. Um, but there's also a row of KB Shimmer up there that just didn't fit in the drawer. So got to figure that out. Um, and then there's a couple KB Shimmers scattered beautifully throughout these drawers. Down here, I originally wanted my Brazilian brands that I only do like Polish Pickup and Hella Hammy Creations for. So every once in a while, I'll get a Wetcha, Penelope, Loose, Indie by 
Patty Lopes. As Maltese de Kelly and DRK, um, which I do have a good amount of room in here for growth, um, but I do need to organize it. And then all of these gold caps are uh, by Danny Vienna, so that needs to go into its own space. This bottom drawer is supposed to have ILMP, 90 Lacquer, Bees Knees, Glitter Days, Lollipop Posse, Nail Hoop, Pretty Serious, and Enchanted. This is a drawer that I just don't touch. Um, unless I'm reaching for like a 9-0 every great once in a while, um, I just don't touch this. There's more by Dana Vienna down here. They don't belong in here. Um, so this really needs to be gone through and de-stashed a good bit. So this is a fun one. This is my top coat and base coats. I have narrowed it down quite a bit in the recent months, um, but it's... I don't use 99% of these. Like, I don't know if I've ever used this Wet n Wild for anything other than the swatches of Wet n Wild. I've got about a billion Cuccio base coats and top coats. I've got so many of these um, under a Hula Moon ones, which I like a couple of them a lot. So I do need to go through it and figure that out. Um, and then these are the base coats from under a Hula Moon. Um, so yeah, they're really good. I just don't use them all. So I need to definitely go through this drawer. More fun here. We were supposed to have Super Chick and Noodles nail polish in here. <laughs> um, again, I have noodles scattered throughout my drawers because I just ran out of room and haven't had the reorganization bug for this yet until right now. So we will absolutely take care of these upside down ones, give her more space, and find her friends. Down here is supposed to be picture polish and damn. Um, what is a damn? Most of my picture polish. Again, I just, I feel like I don't particularly reach for them too often, but I think what's in here is pretty much what's supposed to be in here. Um, except I do have some damn just, there's a noodle. So I do have some damn just scattered around, so we'll find them. We'll figure them out. Down here is supposed to be by Danny Vienna and Cirque. Um, yeah, so we have some Dam here, we have Cirques, and all of these gold tops are Dating Vienna, so other than it being overcrowded, it is relatively organized. So I do just need to go through this one and reorganize and de-stash. And then down here is supposed to be Blush and Lindby Designs. I don't swatch for either of them anymore, so there's noodles. So this drawer should be kind of just where it's at. Um, other than, you know, the fact that I have a noodles collection down here. Um, yeah, just go through the stash. Alright, lots of fun stuff over here. So this is LA Colors, um, but Zoya has taken over my LA Colors drawer. Um, Zoya also has this drawer down here. She absolutely needs at least one more drawer to herself because I have more Zoya hiding throughout the rest of my drawers. Here was supposed to be just gel polishes, which I think I have stuck to that, but like a lot of this can go, like these gel pens were terrible. I've got a Cheeto in here. Um, that can probably go. Um, I've got, yeah, all these gel polishes. I don't wear gel polishes. I don't really know why I'm holding on to them, but they can go. Down here was supposed to be Essie and Color Club. Now my drawer in this is wildly messed up. Um, so I really never go in this drawer because it is, it is not doing too hot. Like I have to lift it to pull it out. So it is um, nicely still organized into Essie and Color Club because I just don't go in here because I don't want to fudge with this drawer. But I'm not pulling it out all the way. That's what's in there. I do have my ballet slippers up here in the front because I do go for that one pretty regularly, but other than that, this drawer just stays closed. And then down here is supposed to be Gucci on Wet n Wild. Um, we have another ice cream situation where they just ended up getting piled in there, so that needs to absolutely be taken care of. Two more sets of drawers. This was supposed to be Rogue Lacquer and Polished for Days. Um, this is pretty much all Rogue Lacquer with um, Polished for Days kind of in this back corner here. Um, really need more Rogue Lacquer space. 
This drawer was supposed to be glam polish and native war paints. I don't um, know what happened with native war paints, but I don't work with them anymore. So um, I don't get them anymore. I do get glam still on the regular, but um, we have Whimsical taking over in here. We have glam. We have Night Owl Lacquer taking over in here. Um, we have Rogue taking over in here. So really, really, really need to sort through this. Um, I have something circular back here. Oh, native war paints. So yeah, that's that drawer. This was supposed to be Whimsical and Night Owl Lacquer. Again, I just don't get anything from Night Owl Lacquer anymore. I'm not sure why, maybe I upset them, but I know for a fact that they're still around and doing fun things. Um, I just don't work with them anymore. So in this drawer, it's supposed to be those, and I do have half of it as, um, whimsical and then the other half is night owl so this is relatively organized down here is supposed to be two drawers of the don diva i don't work with them anymore um so this one is absolutely all don diva i have not touched this drawer in a long time literally everything in this drawer can go but then this one is i'm gonna say the last you know two-thirds is don diva and then we have a glam we have a bunch of rogue um, so again, those need to go into their respective areas. So this was supposed to be a drawer of just stamping stuff. It is relatively empty because I don't um, have that much stamping stuff, but I would like to keep this drawer as just stamping stuff for my potential expansion in the area. So this set of um, Helmers was supposed to just be like the ones that I have a handful of polishes from. Um, but that's not what it is anymore. So this was supposed to have Turtle Tootsie Sassy Pants Addictive 1850, Bella Bosio, Ever After Red Eye Lacquer, and Cattle Lacquer. Um, relatively empty, but it's mostly uh, Cupcake Polish and Whimsical. My Ever Afters can probably all go. Um, and then Sassy Pants is not somebody I work with anymore either. So I don't know, we can at least clear out what's in here, I believe. This drawer is supposed to have Wildflower Lacquer Painted Polish by Lexi, Ethereal, Lyrian, MDJ, and Dollish Polish. Um, it does, but it also has a couple rows of Colors of Carol, some Glam Polish. Um, that is Wildflower, some, <laughs> some Rogue. I'm telling you, this girl is everywhere in my drawers. Um, but then other than that, I believe that's what is actually in here. This drawer was supposed to contain Quixotic, Polish Micelli, Colors by LaRoe, Different Dimensions, Supernatural, and Great Lakes Lacquer. Um, again, Rogue Lacquer has taken over this drawer. Um, and then Tahitian Sun, and then Zoya. Um, but otherwise, I think that the labels are correct in what's in here. This drawer is supposed to have Smith & Colt, Kale Polish, um, Paint Box, Misho, and Beaver. Um, and that's exactly what's in here. So, um, but a lot of this can go as well. Definitely the Beavers can go. Um, probably some of these. I do enjoy my Smith and Colt and my Michos and my uh, Light Slackers though. So, I don't know, probably just, you know, these two rows. And then this drawer was supposed to have Flormar, La Voyage, What's Up Nails, ASP, Formula X, and La Chat. And that's also what's in here. I'm so surprised I have not gone in this drawer in a ridiculously long time. Again, relatively empty. So once I get rid of um, all of these Don Divas, I'll have those two open drawers. And then I do have most of this set of Helmers available. So I should be able to organize everything into all of my drawers relatively nicely. And then I can't forget the fact that this shelf has all pampered polishes. This shelf is all OPI. This part of the shelf is OPI. That KB Shimmer collection that needs to be put into the KB Shimmer drawers up here. This is Pleasing, the Harry Styles company. Um, this up here is pampered polishes. Up there we have Louis Vuitton and Burberry, which I bought a few more Burberry that needs to be put away. And then up here is all pampered polishes as well. So a nice messy overview of everything in the room. And we're not even gonna talk about this, but it's, those are all supplies over there, like uh, glitters and pigments contained and all that. And then this drawer I actually intended to buy for nail polish storage, um, but you know what we're talking about it. Let's go ahead and do it. But this actually holds like my um, 
my ready to sell polishes. So that's what's in all of these. Everything's organized by like um, collection or, you know, at least category. I don't know, I should probably actually go through here and organize everything as well. And since we're talking about it, um, this set of drawers contains like, this one has some stamping stuff, some nail art stuff. This one has acrylic paint and this one has all my oils, lotions, and balm backup. And then this china glaze one that all of these china glazes are sitting on has stamping plates in it because I am terrible. Um, and that's the best I got for organization. There's all my shipping material and then like base and stuff. And then, you know, makeup, shalom, kids coloring stuff and more shipping materials. We are halfway there and I am running out of floor space. That's fun. So I'm at the lunch break portion of this. Um, so China Glaze is still in these drawers and then uh, my stamping is still in that drawer, but otherwise everything is out of its cases. So here we've got Color Club and then we've got Cuccio, Lights Lacquer slash KL. We got a big old pile here of Whimsical, Wet n Wild, ASP, KB Shimmer, Cirque, Colores de Carol, Native War Paints. Um, these little piles here are like Misho. There's Paint and Polish by Lexi. There is Wildflower Lacquer, Dollish Polish, Tahitian Sun, Illyrian. There's a big pile of Danny Vienna. Um, that is Colors by LaRoe and Polish Me Silly. And then Rogue Lacquer. Um, here we have Indy by Patty Lopes. Penelope Loose, Esmaltis de Kelly. Uh, Wetcha, that is Polished for Days. In this back corner over here, we have Night Owl Lacquer, Paint Box Polish and Smith and & Colt. This is Maniology, Viver. This is my box of D-Stash gels. Two boxes of D-Stash uh, Don Diva. This box has like the one-offs that I have and then like if I had two of something, I just kind of shoved it in there as well. Here's Glam, Essie LA Colors, Zoya, uh, Noodles Nail Polish, Ice Cream Nails. We got Dam. We've got Picture Polish, Blush Lacquers. Back there we have Le Chat and Sally Hansen. Formula X, Salon Perfect, Sinful Colors, Anchor and Heart Lacquer. Starly, that's where I started. Um, so we have like two 77s, two fancy glasses, two black dahlias, two powder perfects, MLF. Um, here we have MJ lacquer. We have some cupcake. We have sweet and sour. Uh, what are you? Oh, you're Lindby Designs. <laughs> We've got Orly back there. I am custom color. Uh, lollipop, garden path, pretty serious. Uh, what are you? Enchanted. Uh, Bees Knees Lacquers, Glitter for Days, ILNP, and 90. So, we have a ton of work to do. Um, and then, of course, I still have mine on the. Oh, crap, I gotta get rid of those or put them in a drawer anyway. But, of course, we still have the uh, Louis Vuitton, the Burberry, which turns out I bought one that I already had. That's cool. Um, my. Pampered polishes, my OPIs are still up there. Again, China Glaze is still in there. I did take the labels off. I really just didn't love how they looked anymore. So I'm gonna figure out a different labeling system, but this is our current status. I'm going to eat some lunch and I shall be back. So I know for a fact I'm not de-stashing any Zoya. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up two drawers of Zoya.
Okay, so it is done. I did leave myself some room to grow. I'm not combining anything else with this. My main objective is to go ahead and do the brands that I have a lot of first. That way, if I need more than one drawer for them, um, I can accommodate that. And I didn't do that last time. Also, I know I'm gonna get comments about not putting them in rainbow order. I get polishes so often that I can't possibly keep my polishes in rainbow order. So I've just kind of learned to live with the chaos. So it doesn't bother me and I hope it doesn't bother you. So I do have me a de-stash bucket. I do already have three of them full thanks to Don Diva and my gel polishes. Um, but this is gonna be my de-stash bucket for the rest of them and I will be de-stashing as I go. But the next brand we're gonna do is Rogue Lacquer. And I'm also not going to do like, um, you know, I have I have probably somewhere around 30 white Corelli Rogue Lacquers. I'm not gonna do comparisons of them. I'm just going to keep them if I think I'll wear them and de-stash them if I don't. Oh no, we've got a casualty. So I have two extra rogue lacquers. I am gonna put them in a drawer on its own, or I am gonna put it in a drawer rather, um, but I'm gonna put something else in there, something that I don't either have a lot of or get often. That way um, I can still grow my rogue collection. I think I'm gonna put Dam in here with that. So again, I will de-stash as I go. So damn, I don't plan on de-stashing a ton from. Um, what I get from them, I generally really, really love. I think I'm gonna call this drawer here. All right, so just to do some quick cleaning up, I'm definitely getting rid of these Vivers. So they can go in the de-stash bucket. Um, I'm definitely getting rid of most of those LA colors. Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? Something else, hold on. I'm just gonna go around here like a madman and get rid of the things that I know I don't wanna keep. Starting with all of these wet and wilds. Um, I just don't have any kind of use for them. I haven't used them since I've swatched them. So these are all definitely going. Same goes for all of these ASP polishes. You know, last time I did a grand D stash, I kept these native war paints because they are pretty and they are pretty. And here's a rogue. They are pretty, but um, I have not used them since, so I'm getting rid of all of my native war paints. Um, again, I just haven't used them. They're good, especially for drugstore polishes, but I, I don't want to take up space 
that is unnecessary. Alright, I've got one of my boxes that my caps come in, and I will continue my de-stash in here. Exotic. Um, I've only got four. And nothing truly stands out to me, so those can go. My Sally Hansen's, my Formula X's, and my Lachette's, my Black Dahlia's, and my MLF. Um, you know, I'm also just going to get rid of these 77's and fancy losses. We're doing good, we're doing good. For sure, these garden paths and pretty serious. So glam polish will also definitely require two drawers. Um, but again, I'm gonna de-stash as I go. Okay, um, I was actually very ruthless with glam, so in general, um, I like to keep all of my glams that are A, Disney inspired, and B, Harry Potter inspired, um, and then I also kept a couple uh, collections that were um, like superhero themed, like I have a, the Thor collection, uh, for example, but this time, instead of keeping polishes just based on the name of the label, I just kept what I was interested in wearing. So I think I will be okay with one glam drawer for at least a few months. So I'm gonna keep it that way. So this next drawer is gonna be really, really hard for me. Um, I'm going to go through my noodles. So I love my noodles nail polishes. Um, I don't particularly wanna get rid of any of them, but I am being cutthroat and I know I don't need to hold on to every nail polish that comes my way. That hurt. On to ice cream nails. Now there are some in here that I know I'm definitely getting rid of, um, but I do plan on keeping a majority of these, so um, it should be relatively quick. Ice cream's done. Okay, so we're gonna move on to Katie Shimmer, which is another 
really hard brand for me to de-stash. I'm gonna put my super chick lacquers in here with KB Shimmer. Um, I very rarely get super chick lacquers for swatching purposes, um, and I know for a fact I'm not destashing any of them because I have destashed through these a few times and haven't gotten any more. So. Okie dokie, artichokey, this drawer is ready to roll. So I do have six polishes from Salon Perfect and four polishes from Sinful Colors that I know I am getting rid of. I am keeping all of my picture polishes, so this will just be a load. Next, I'm going to tackle Essie, um, and once again, I know I'm not getting rid of any of my Essies, um, so, except these minis, um, I do have, I don't know, there was one collection that I couldn't find in full size, so I got minis of them, but um, I've never used them, and I don't plan on it, so I'm getting rid of the minis that I have. So with Essie, I'm going to put my glitter days. And again, I'm not getting rid of any of my glitter days. I love each and every one of these. Cuccio is a brand that I would, if I can, like to cut my supply in half. I'm gonna put Orly in here with Cuccio. I'm sitting here thinking I have made so much progress um, and here we are still. But let me show you real quick. I've got this bucket full of stuff that's being destashed. I've got those three buckets of the same size that are also being destashed and then um, I've got this box full, not full, almost full, being these down. Good job, Timberlin. Um, so I'm also realizing I have no idea if I've been in frame or focus, so, um, there's that. But the next brand we are tackling is Colors to Carol, yet another very hard brand for me to de-stash.
going to leave this area empty for Clarissa Carol um, because my collection does grow uh, pretty quickly with them. Our next brand is Whimsical Ideas by Pam. I do love my whimsies, um, but there are a handful I know off the top of my head I can get rid of. And the rest of this drawer is also staying empty because um, my whimsical collection does expand frequently as well. Alright, the next brand I have to tackle is by Danny Vienna. I love my Danny Viennas, but I have to be cutthroat and fit them into one drawer right now. I am so proud of myself. Um, I definitely have room to grow for Danny Vienna. Uh, it was a little easier than I expected because A, I just don't wear purple polish and if I keep a purple polish, that's for a specific reason. But B, um, I very, 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 very rarely wear thermal polishes. So um, I was able to get rid of a lot here. I think I'm gonna keep the same setup I had before where my other um, Brazilian brands will go in this drawer. So we'll have Indie by Patty Lopes and Penelope Luce definitely and Esmalta de Kelly. Um, I don't know really how many watches I'm going to keep but whatever I keep of that and Vanessa Molina will also go in here. So in here, I'm gonna put Starly, and I'm keeping all of my Starlies, so this is just filling. And with Starly, I'm gonna put Cupcake Polish, which I'm keeping all of those as well. So my um, Alex drawers are full. Well, they all have stuff in them except my one busted one that had Essie. So I'm moving on to my Hummers. And I'm going with Metal Lacquer. Polish for days is going in here too. So I'm gonna start loading my Smith and Colt, which I'm getting rid of none of these. My Misha Beauty.
So I got a big problem here. Somehow, um, I still have Anchor and Heart Lacquer, Garden Path, Enchanted, Bees, Knees, ILNP90, and my box of random brands. Um, and all I have left are these two drawers. So I gotta figure it out. Since we're going on six hours of nail polish organization and it is after five o'clock, it is time for a glass of wine. So we will start with what we know here and that is that this bottom drawer has always been and will always be polishes that I either have one of, two of, and things of that sort. Um, so first off, I know I'm getting rid of my Flomars. Those go, in, go in my bucket. Got a bow. Illyrian. I definitely have more than one Illyrian here. Um, Butter London. Love Love Polish. My one Tux Polish left. I've got one Diamond Legend. One Dior. One Moonshine Manny. A couple Cuticula here. To get rid of my Great Lakes lacquers, I'm gonna keep my pipe dream. Era. I kept one Sally Hansen, so now she lives there. There's another Illyrian. I've been holding on to a few of these Ever After polishes, um, but since she is now Rogue, I feel like I really don't have to hold on to these. Um, and she has pretty much established, I don't know, like these three are so. Oh, well, and this one was a custom. Fudge. Um. Alright, Turtle Tootsie can go. Got a couple Cadillacers here. I've got one Sassy Pants polish left, and she can go. Here's another Ever After. Another Turtle Tootsie. This 1850 can go. Another Cadillacer. Another Turtle Tootsie. A Deborah Whitman. A lot of these um, with the one-off polishes I bought in Polish Pickup, mainly for like name and theme sake, and I just don't feel like I have to hold on to those anymore. Um, this Joshik was like one of my first nail polish purchases. MDJ can go. Never enough. There's frost on every window. Go the scuff loss so pretty. Are you a Betty or a Veronica? That's gorgeous. Um, the only reason I have these cuticulas is because they go together and it is a beautiful manicure. I have three Illyrians and I'm gonna hold on to all three of them. I've got this uh duh nail polish. I got the topper, you do the rest. I really don't know anything about this, don't know how I acquired it. Um, I've got a top shelf neon green called kiwi spinach smoothie and i really enjoy that color northern star polish family secrets this was in march 2018 polish pickup and i do remember this was based on um the flowers in the attic book really like that um i've got alicia lacquer uh, called bayou a beignet and i have made it a mission i call my oldest son bayou so i've made it a mission to keep every nail polish with the name bayou in it which is surprisingly a lot of them so keeping that this uh jor your jor, jor yeah called Lepeche 1981. This was from April 2019 Polish Pick. I'm pretty sure this is, um, ooh, I really don't know. It says a quad thermal. I don't know. I've never worn it. I want to play with it. Diamonds are a girl's best friend from Kathleen and Company can go. Um, I move the stars for no one from Nail Hoot can go. The woman from 1850 can go. Peppermints in the Parlor from Starlight Polish. I think that's a Harry Potter reference. Miserably separated, but it is really pretty. And I've got these three chiralities, chiralities. Um, and I just, I think I've swatched them, so I think I'm good. I've got three Cadillacers here that are all really, really pretty. So they can stay this le polish i'm not even sure this is a brand anymore it's called dreams in which i'm dying love 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 this reminds me of the joker or something so stunning pretty and polished Ooh, fuzzy sweater this reminds me of beth um insane so i'm keeping that 
got uh, You Do It Too from Fair Maiden. This was a polish uh, made around the book Everybody Poops, so that one's staying. Pretty Jelly, Sweet Trip to Honey Dukes, which is obviously a Harry Potter reference. Schlee Polish Corrupted Crystal. It's a purple. It can go. Flo Mars Pass the Mustard. One of my favorite mustards to date. Again, I don't think they're a brand anymore. This is from Aurora. It's called a nice greasy pork sandwich served in a dirty ashtray. I don't know, but it can go. Nailed it nail polish. We're all mad here. Has to stay. Graceful nail polish is called Coop ID or Coopid. Um, my middle son's name is Cooper and that's the reason I kept this one, this one singular one. The Lady Varnishes. She Lavas Me, She Lavas Me Not. I still haven't tried this one, so I am going to keep it. Uh, Level Up Lacquer, Baroness of Sugarland. This is from February 2018 Polish Pickup. This was based off of um, Wreck-It Ralph, so she stays. Poetry Cowgirl, Every Dark Night Turns Into Day. She is pretty, and it is based off a country song, so she can stay. Here's another Aurora. Did I already have Aurora? No, that was a jeweler. Um, this is called Having a Good Time Being Chaotic in a Closet. I don't know anything about it. She can go. Zombie Claw, this is called Baby Girl's Ink. This was a custom that a friend made for me or got made for me from Zombie Claw. I really love this. I've worn it a couple times. She stays. Um, Girly Bits Rock My World. Um, she's pretty, but I just don't think about her. So she can go. Potion Polish Vintage. Again, she's pretty, but I don't think about her. So she can go. Cameo Colors. Roads Only Found With The Mind. Sucker for curly. Um, and I don't think I've used this yet, so it can stay. Pepper Pot Polish. I'm your number one fan. <laughs> that can stay. Dreamland Lacquer Bubble Mint. Um, I think, I don't know. I don't know where I got, I mean, obviously I got it from Polish Pickup, but I don't remember picking this one up. She is pretty though, so she can stay. Now the question is, what do I do with these ever afters? I've got uh, Best Best. Best Bitches Mustard, which was a custom. I've got Playing With Fire, Mother of Dragons, and Seasick Crocodile. Um, and I think I want to keep all of those. Just because I feel like if I didn't have the custom, I would be fine getting rid of them all. But that's, that's a stupid reason, isn't it? Um, I have two potion polishes here. And these are both absolutely stunning. This is Season of Perpetual Hope and Prettiest Sight to See. They stay. So I've got a good amount here from Lollipop Posse Lacquer. Um, and there's only really two that stand out to me in this bunch, which is Shivering Down Your Spine and Relentless. So I am going to keep those two and I can get rid of these ten. And I also have a little handful here from Bees Knees Lacquer. I'm going to keep Morale. I'm going to keep... Uh, this light blue doesn't have any name on it. And then I'm also going to keep the dark blue that doesn't have any on it. And then the other four can go. I think for now my best option is to put Rogue in here with Super Chick and the other half or the other little part of my Katie Shimmers. And these are all the pretty polishes I plan on getting rid of. Um, I do want to sit down and show you all the pretties real quick. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have the original bins that contain all gel polishes and then two bins that contain all Don Diva polishes. Holy cow, and here's the rest of them. And I really didn't expect there to be like an absurd amount. I know this is a larger box, but like that's a ridiculous amount of nail polish. Um, so I'm definitely not gonna actually go through them all, but um, I will be doing 
grab bags of D-Sash polishes. So check out my D-Sash Instagram page. I will link it in the description box below. And then you can also uh, message me on Instagram if you are interested in a grab bag. All right, guys. So everything is relatively organized. I have a huge few buckets of things to <laughs> sell, to gift to friends and family, and to me. donate to a women's shelter. So I am happy with the turnout of everything. Um, thank you guys for sticking with me and for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. And I will talk to you again next time. Bye.